I want the reader to imagine what it's like to be together, as the twins used to call each other, with someone all your life, sharing a body, someone who's completely different to you, and totally different, absolute the opposite of you in every possible way, and yet you can't move without her, you, your life is completely at her beck and call, which is what Dasha's was with Masha, because Masha was so controlling, and Dasha was so submissive. It's, it's incredible to think, what, you know, how do you cope with that? How do you work that out as children? And yet, they loved each other in their way. They supported each other. And um, in the end, they found a way to find peace together. So they were born in 1950, which was under Stalin, and they died in 2003 under Putin. So they lived through an amazing period of Soviet and Russian history. Each time a new, a new leader came into power, their lives changed dramatically because of that new policy of the, the leader in power. So it's almost like a reflection of Russian history over a period of what was 53 years. We always think of, you know, Russia as being perhaps over there, and but this is a real inside story. I mean, I, I think that when you read this book, you're going to find that you can understand what it's like to be Russian inside Russia, inside Soviet Russia, and to be growing up like that. And you might think, well, you know, what what, what have we got in common with them? But but when you are Dasha, and I hope that because I've used Dasha's voice, the reader will really understand the Russian philosophy and the, 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 the Russian politics and um, get, get inside being beyond the Iron Curtain. So the book is called The Less You Know, The Sound You Sleep, which in Russian is Menchesnaish Krepchespish. Uh, it's a very common saying, all little children are told, the less you know the sound you sleep, don't ask questions, you don't need to know anything, and that's very symbolic of the Russian system, Soviet system, and in fact the Russian system now. It poses an interesting question, because is it true? Is ignorance bliss? Is it better for us not to know what, what you know, not to know what's happening? just as the twins had no idea about their past, they weren't told about their parents, they didn't know about their mother, um, they didn't know when they were little, this is the opening scenes, why they were in a hospital, why every, all the other kids were running around outside, they were not told anything at all. In fact, when I met them when they were 38, they didn't even know what the word conjoined and which was to me absolutely astounding but actually the, the, the more I got to know them the more I realized that they were just uh, kept in blissful ignorance I don't know if <laughs> it is or not I mean uh, that that's an interesting question for the reader